was just talking about how to improve our relationships with each other. Like a lot of what we talk about is how people always want to talk down to or degrade or judge or, you know, make people feel like they're not doing good enough or they're not, you know, they're not adding up to what it is everyone expects them to be. And a lot of that problem is, you know, instead of thinking about what the other person is doing, you need to think about yourself. What um, Essence was talking about earlier is, you know, improving the way that you view yourself and the way that you feel about yourself. And a lot of that goes back to how you think. A lot of people don't think about their actions. A lot of people don't think about the things that they say. They think that they can say one thing and act in a different manner, and it's supposed to be okay. For instance, like if you're talking about when you first go through the courting phase with people. In the beginning, everybody has time. You want to call, you want to hang out, you want to text, and everything is sunshines and rainbows, and then somewhere around a couple of weeks down the road, conversations are getting shorter, visits are getting shorter, and then what? We could have discussed this in the beginning. I didn't have to waste my time with you. And we could have kept everything just by the way moving. So my whole thing is there are three points that you should just try to practice doing in your daily life to try to improve the way to, that you deal with people. You have to think and assess the situation, create and imagine and make make correct and accurate choices based on verified information. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck looking like boo-boo the fool at the end because you didn't verify, you didn't check like the Rolling Stone. <laughs> like the Rolling Stone. <laughs> I actually have something else to help with that, with um, a book that I'm reading, and it's about being impeccable with your word so that there's no confusion. When you feel some type of way, you need to say to the person, not be disrespectful. Right. Be able to speak to people and, you know, everything you do, make sure you're not assuming, you know, make sure you're not taking anything personally because that's the problem. Someone might take something personal when the person didn't really mean it. So if you feel that someone's trying to attack you, speak, up, speak on it and ask the person, what do you really mean? So that leaves out any drama or confusion. And don't react out of emotion. A lot of people, including myself, react out of emotion and it's a very, very bad habit that we have. When you're irrational and you're emotional, you can't think clearly. And everything after that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. A rational person can't do it. Irrational people, really. It doesn't work out. And so me, I feel like being inside the um, entertainment industry, I deal with a lot of different personalities. And I don't take things personally at all. People, I know that people talk differently. People might act differently. And some people might act Maybe let's for example, if someone's very tough on someone, they might just trying to be, be um, giving you advice, you know, have their best interest of you, or they might be trying to be disrespectful. As you know, someone with common sense, you could kind of tell when someone's crossing a line and being disrespectful. But some people just can't handle it, and that's the problem. I mean, I guess it's the whatever you're, wherever you are in life. If you're a type of person who just has a nine to five job and just deals with their one boss, or if you're someone who deals with several people, you're going to have to be able to adapt and learn that people and are don't have people. Time. people don't have time to say and try to say everything nicely. You have to get the job done sometimes. So it's all about working with different individuals and learning not to take things personally. If you're doing what you have to do, you don't have to worry about anything. You know that you're not wrong and it's that other person's fault if they're feeling some type of way. Well, that is a topic that we would definitely need more time for because there's so many different conversations you can have. There's so many things you can talk about. But we will not be here next week. Next week is Easter. So for all those who celebrate Easter, happy Easter. We will be back on the 12th. So have a great Sunday, everyone. And thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye. Take care.